Welcome to musicmoveit.com and today I want to talk about balancing a music career and life. Of course, like I've said in past videos, a music career will keep you busy. Especially in the beginning. I mean, actually all the way through, not just the beginning, but it could be more harsh on your regular life in the beginning because you might not always get paid for stuff. You'll be doing a lot of free stuff, stuff like, you know, things like that. So let me explain. If you truly want a career in music, you have to make some sacrifices. You know, you're gonna be gone a lot. I always say that if you want to make it in music, you must tour. A lot of you know, whether you're the headliner or even just an opening act, some of these shows won't get you on stage until midnight, sometimes later, sometimes earlier, it just depends. But there's back in the days when I was performing, there were so many shows where I was in the club, just or a club or a venue, and I, I was an opening act. And I was, sometimes I didn't get put on until like midnight, 11.30, you know, then I'd have like 15 minutes to perform or whatever, which is fine, because I was an opening act. But it's a late night, you know? I mean, and then after that, you don't just want to leave, you want to stick around, maybe do some promo, shake some hands, meet some people. So just doing shows is uh, something to take into consideration that you will be gone a lot of nights. And if you're touring out of the state or even just out of the city in the state, states could get pretty big, you'll be gone a lot. So if you have a girlfriend, if you have a wife, if you have kids, you got to take all this stuff into consideration and you got to have a partner that will be understanding of this. Sometimes people take their partners on the road with them. So Something like that you got to think of. You got to balance that. You got to balance your love life if you, unless you're single, but you got to balance, balance your love life and your music career. And of course, if the bigger you get, the more busier you'll, busier you'll get. The, you know, you might do further, sh further um, tours away, way far away. So it's just a balancing thing there. Now, in the beginning also, money may be something to consider because... If you're an indie artist, you you are essentially your own label. So you are essentially fronting all the money to put yourself out there. So you got to take into consideration, you know, what do I do here for money? Do, am I doing this, trying to do this full time to make this a career where I actually get money for doing music? Or are you going to need to work full time and try to balance doing shows and doing tours on the weekends and whatnot? I mean, you, it can get exhausting, but I always say, or I always thought, I wish I would have got more serious younger. Like, you know, I was doing music in my teens, but I wasn't super trying to be, I mean, I was trying to be professional, but I didn't know what it all entailed, I guess. I just wish, I, fresh out of high school, I would have started touring or started to try to make more of the right connections, but I waited a little bit. But the younger you are, obviously, the easier it is to do these things because, you know, you can live at home with your parents just out of high school and you can go on tour and it's easier to balance because your parents might not charge you anything to live at home. So you don't have to worry about that. You might not have a ton of bills. Some parents pay for cell phones still and all that stuff. It just depends on your situation, obviously, and what you're going through in life. For me, for years, I still had to work full time and tried to do a music career and it was hard. Plus I was going to college. You know, I went to college a little bit like in my mid twenties instead of right out of high school. And I went for music business and audio recording and things like that. But there was a point where I was going to college for audio and music business, working a full-time job and releasing music and trying to do shows. I remember one summer, you know, I'd, it, would, it would be like I'd work until like five. I'd get off at five, change, get all my gear ready, go wherever my show was, you know, 
and it was just like a non-stop cycle and it, I mean it didn't get old I loved it but after a while getting on stage so late got kind of old I just kind of got sick of the venue scene the the club scene it, that you know you just it just it's just something you got to balance this is what I'm talking about here is it for you I love doing music and things like that but maybe just the touring wasn't always like the best best thing in the world to me you know what I mean sometimes it went super smooth sometimes it was just too late for me sometimes I was just too tired but you know you got to make it work and yes I did make money off of my music not enough to become a millionaire or like super super worldwide popular but I did some cool things because I tried to bust my butt my ass and you know really pushed to make a career out of it so but now that's just there's just so many things you really gotta think about and take into consideration family life you know um working while trying to do a music career you know if you already have money and you can really put full 24 7 into music you have a better chance than anyone else to get more fans because you can go out every day every night you can just imagine a life where you don't have to work all you got to do is get up go to the studio uh record do shows wouldn't that be amazing i mean that's what you're kind of that's what the big name artists basically do i mean i know they do a lot more but basically i mean they don't have to work a nine to five or part-time or whatever so but look at the big picture for whatever you're you're trying to go for and do the best you can to promote yourself within your situation whether you got to work or whether you have time tons of free time you can balance it you just got to really have a game plan for yourself write a business plan you're you're a label if you're an indie artist with no other label you are your own label write a business plan i I have a video on business plans try to find it or I'll, i'll put a link to it and outline what you want to do for your career your music career what do you need to do how often do you need to promote things like that so keep all that in mind it's some balancing i'm sure a lot of you go through it all the time it's for some people and it's not for some people you know but it's a rough thing because just because people don't want to go on tour but they still want to do music but then there's the people that love it all they want to be on tour they want to be out late nights and you know it just depends on the person and you got to decide for yourself how hard you want to work you know how far you want to take this how much time can you put into this how much money can you put into this because if you do it right you'll start making money and hopefully if you have a full-time or part-time job on the side still you could slowly phase that out because you'll be making show money or you know publishing money whatever so balance it know what's right for you and don't alienate people in the process like you know you don't want to someone telling you one thing and you push them aside and then you never become a success you might feel bad later on in life that gee i really pushed that person out of my life because i was trying to do this but i mean it's just you know your situation and you got to do what's best and you got to balance it all to make everyone happy and to make you happy where you feel like you're really pushing towards your career so that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i got some great ideas for new videos coming out i want to talk more about when you think you'll need a manager i want to talk more about doing a live album and that's for any genre doing a live album it's kind of cool for whether you're in rock country hip-hop r&b whatever i'll talk more about that um there's just some tons of subjects i want to touch and we'll get to all of them. Leave a comment if you want. Please subscribe, and I will see you next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching my videos, and I wanted to tell you about a few things. I'm gonna leave some links in the description below, so make sure you take advantage of them. I want you to check out and download our ebook. It's a step-by-step guide to release your own music from start to finish. Check out the link below. It's called Release Your Own Music, a step-by-step guide. Download that today. Also, Django Radio, it's a streaming service like a Pandora, and they're doing a special offer with me where they're giving artists and bands 
100 spins on their streaming station. You just got to click the link below. You can only use this link to get that offer, and you must be a new Django user. It's an excellent opportunity to get your music out there to more people. Check it out, click the links, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.